Talk. Folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Disconcern the truth. The problem with making assumptions is that we believe the other truth. We make an assumption, we misunderstood, we misunderstand, we take it personally, then we react by sending emotional poison with our word, and this creates a what? A whole big drama for nothing. We got some drama out here in the marketplace, folks. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 357, NASDAQ up 131, SP is up 34, gold contract up $24.40, trading at 1980 an ounce. We have silver up 22 cents, $25, 24 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 55, $75, 70 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. 10 year note flat, 112.22. The 30 year up three ticks at 121.21. And King Dollar. King Dollar's up 137 ticks, trading 99,979. Euro's at 112. Yen is out here at a price point of 138. And the British pound is at 130 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. Well, your banks started it off today inside the S&P. The Nasdaq was down. The banks started it off. Bottom line, brought the market up in a monster way here. So we got, you got the SPY trading up $3.39. You've taken out the swing. The swing we're talking about now is 451.36. You know, we'll see that the SPY could get 29 million in it, meaning 29 million more at 42. Uh, but you have price spread for sure, and meaning that you're going higher. NDX, now the NDX could be an ABC structure up. That's how this is set up right now, because it looks to me like you're actually going to get the volume. All you need is 55 million. We're already at 43. We'll see how this shakes out in the you know, next uh, 60 minutes. But it's taken out that B, and it, it, it looks like it has volume. If that's the case, then we're going to be going after a 398 to 399 high, and the all-time high is 408. So if we're going after a 398 to 399 high, we're going after the highs, man. And that's the high in the queues of 40871. Your next swing point up here is 402 or 386. Gold, gold contract up here. That's, this is also in an ABC structure on the way up. Took out the B point, took it out with volume. You got uh, 253,000 contracts right now. Taking out the B point, we're up for $25.10. And we needed, uh, yeah, 240,000 contracts. Uh, you have a, I think it's a 20 point, 968, it's 60 points, it's a 60 A to B. So you got uh, 2,000, yeah, 2,009, what's this swing here, that's, that's the next, next swing point's 2,000. That's going to get you in the next range, actually, the next range starts at 201, and then what you do have is that, we take a look at, the, if I go to the GDX, if you go to any of the gold equities, folks, they're all running for the highs that was established out here on the uh, fifth of, 4th of May. They're high volume highs. You know, if we take a look at the GDX right now, you're going to see the GDX is taking a B point out. We're already done 15 million, needed 15 million. That is a nice ABC up. It's uh, 32, 39, and you get uh, 28, uh, they call it 29. So you get uh, with a, a 3.5. That's going to get you somewhere around 35. What's that high? Yeah, you're going up to those highs. Notes and bonds. We go to the note and bond market out here. They also want higher price, lower yield. And so you, you, at the bottom line, for the markets as well as for the uh, metals markets, you know, that it's going to, we're going to come back to this dollar. Uh, the lower the dollar goes, bottom line, higher they're all, go, they're all going to go. We had the 10-year today go to 113.05. It's at 112.22. You know, couldn't make it by this area, but it'll take a while to get by this area because this is where ice is. This is where the bond market fell apart. We went from 113.08 to 112.01 in one day. 
So it's going to take a little bit to get through there, and then we go over to King Dollar. You take a look at King Dollar, and, you know, you just, King Dollar's last couple of days has tried to get some movement, but bottom line, you get a sideways move. And that's on a shorter-term basis. And a longer-term basis, bottom line is that uh, you take a look at this, that's a decisive break. If this thing can't even bounce up to the trend line, now the trend line on this would be 101.927. No, no, 101.504. If it can't even do that, then it's going to be like curtains, man, because the next consolidation, let me do it this way. The, the cons next consolidation is from 96 to 89. That's what we're in right now. So bottom line is that the lower that the dollar goes, the higher that the markets are going to go. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here, we take a look at. You got uh, Tesla's up three bucks. We got, oh, look at that. Microsoft is up $18. And this must have been on the news. They're, they're going to be charging 30 or 60 bucks. Look at that move. Unbelievable. You're talking about $18 times, uh, let's see, 7.4 billion <laughs> and a market cap. That's, that is just incredible. Was this intraday here? Let me look at this thing. This is what probably brought the NASDAQ all the way back to. Yeah, this is an intraday move. So this is, this is when Microsoft came out with the news. They come out with the news that they are going to be, you know, I was talking about Microsoft yesterday about the, um, yeah, they add they add 150 billion to their market cap on AI AI pricing details. Amazing. Yep, unbelievable. And so inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness. You got Sirius Satellite is up seven and a half. Microsoft's up five and a half. Netflix is up five. Taken away from it, JD's down five. Pinduoduo is off four and a half. You get uh, Align Technologies off 2.8. Stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow. Dow Industrials. We're going to be coming right back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Dow Industrials up 369. NASDAQ's up 141. S&Ps are up 37. We're coming right back.